Hey, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky here with another tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be learning how to create an envelope shape. Okay, so we can start by selecting our rectangle tool. And we're just gonna draw the shape of our envelope. Now we're gonna make sure that the fill is black and that there is no stroke or outline. And then selecting the pen tool, we're going to click in the top left where it says anchor. Make sure you've got your smart guides turned on just so certain, aspect, uh, certain elements will snap together nicely. So we can click top left. You see here, it nicely marks where the center of our shape is. So we'll click. And then we'll click in the very top right corner as well. And we're gonna swap the fill and the stroke here. And we're just gonna make that white. And make that nice and thick. So we could stop there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna round off the corners of our envelope slightly. So we can select the black shape here and go up to effect, down to stylize and click round corners. Just turn the preview on and then you can round these off as much as you like. So if I press command Y on the Mac, control Y on the PC, we can go into preview mode. Now you'll see that our shape still looks like this because we've got some effects applied that we haven't actually finalized yet. So you'll see if I take this now and try and scale it down, it remembers the radius width of the corners, it remembers the stroke width. So we want to finalize all this. I might just make that stroke a little bit thicker. And you can adjust this as you like. This is your envelope after all, it can be however you want it to be. So I'm fairly happy with this. So what I'm gonna do is select everything, go up to Object, Expand Appearance. As for that, did the outside shape. Let's just make sure we select the, the stroke here, and we'll do that again. There we go. Sometimes you might need to do it once or twice, but you can check in preview mode, and we, we can set, now see that these are finalized shapes with no effects applied to them and no stroke widths. So if I select everything, you can see there's no outlines, but we do have a fill. And if we select two fills or two shapes with a fill that are different colors, you will see this question mark because the fill is two different colors. So if we click another color, you'll see it confirms what that single color is. So now what I can do is I can select the kind of the, the white sort of flap part of the envelope and we'll make that white. We'll make the other part of the envelope black. Now if I were to lay a background color behind this, you'll see that we can see this. So we can still see the flap. It's not actually part of the shape, it's its own shape. So when we're using this in a design, it's not fully finished yet. So we need to, we need to prep this to be used by a designer in a design because there won't ever be an instance where we'll have this shape a different color on the envelope. So what we want to do is we want to subtract all this white from our black shape. So we can select both parts and then just go up to the Pathfinder palette and select minus front or subtract. And you'll see there that it knocks out that white from the black shape. So now when we're using this icon in any designs, it will display correctly with the background showing through that gap. And you can, because there's no strokes or outlines, you can scale it down now and it will scale proportionally as well. Okay, there you go. That's how you create an envelope shape in Adobe Illustrator. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, share and subscribe as always, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.